Hey guys, for the first thing today, we're gonna tour the Parmigiano Reggiano place. So I'll let you guys see how this all works and produces. 114 wheels a day maximum. That's not too much. No, that's really not too much. But yeah. consider that uh, our, our babies are not industrial, it's not industrial production, so yeah. it's an handcraft yeah. production. It's a handcraft. And uh, we have babies that can produce uh, six, uh, eight uh, cheeses in a day, for example. Mm -hmm. um, we now we begin to have uh, uh, big cooperatives that produce. Uh, uh, more than 100 <laughs> cheeses in a day, but uh, because uh, uh, they need uh, for the costs. So to produce a uh, Parmigiano Reggiano is very, very expensive. Uh, there it is. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. There's Parmesan. Yeah, they co they polish the <laughs> yeah, copper pots that. with it the own way. There's no chemical elements used here whatsoever. Amazing. That is so cool. Whoa! <laughs> and are introduced in the, this uh, plastic uh, mold. Why? Because you see the cheese is not so hard. Uh, so the not yet. Is, uh, is a tender, is, is uh, elastic, it's like a big mozzarella. So uh -huh. it's not so hard like uh, the cheese we know. And so it's introduced in this uh, special uh, mold. Then uh, the cheese maker uh, after the production uh, come here and move the cheese the wheel every two three hours because the cheese must lose its temperature because it is hot and begin to lose the liquid the liquid is on the way here okay and so become uh, a hard and to produce a skin around it. The skin which at the end is the curd. The curd is important because it's natural too, so it's a cheese which become hard, but it's important because it's the protection of the cheese inside. Uh -huh. It's also in this case, we don't use chemical elements or other product, product to protect the cheese. Is the cheese himself, so <laughs> using the curd. Hmm? Yes, so in, they put uh, the dish, this dish which is of uh, five, eight kilograms, yeah, and so on the cheese impressive. to help to lose the liquid and to create the typical shape of our cheese, so too flat and convex around. Yes. A little skin around it eh? and so it's, it's just a little bit hard so they uh, introduce between the plastic mold and the cheese the matrix mold wow yeah that's so it's introduced in this way okay the plastic mold and the cheese so we introduce like that and this element Ah, in press, uh, you can touch uh, if you want. This element remain in press. Uh, yeah, in the, the natural way around the cheese. Okay? Out, yes. Oh, the salt brings out the liquid the, yes, uh, uh, from the cheese. Then uh, the salt uh, help to create a correct, curd. A perfect cur uh, curd around the cheese because remember, the curd is uh, to protect the cheese inside, and the salt uh, help us uh, to create. Uh, the so the milk sits in the um, copper for a day, then the next day it's taken into those cheese balls yeah. and then they put them into there, into those See, like containers they, for another day. Yes, it remains. So in the production area uh, is producing uh, one hour and a half, two hours. Uh -huh. okay? It will remain for one day and a half, two 
two days okay. maximum. Here, 18, 19 days. Uh -huh. Okay. Then move again. Move again. Yes. Be quiet. Because uh, what? Mm -hmm. But above all, when the cheese is in the water, stop ferment. Ah. Stop working. <coughs> and it's not good for cheese. Okay. So what is possible is introduced for a few hours in other special room, which is called the hot room. Hot room. So many dairies, especially uh, the new uh, or like that, the, 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 the rebuilding dairies, uh, introduce this uh, room. Where it is not possible, they leave the cheese. They introduce the cheese again in the first room eh? and leave the cheese eh? in this room for eh? one day. Depending on the, the cheese eh? when it's ready. Mm -hmm. okay. Smells so, like a lot of know, cheese. It smells very, very, very strong. And in this case, we have the hot room. Eh? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> I told you that you were going to go out. Oh my oh, gosh, it's so cool. So this is the hot room? The bank of the room of the cheese. This is the hot room, which we control temperature and humidity. And the cheese is dry and uh, is working, so it's fermenting again. It is introduced there. Oh my god, this is just this the, the coolest thing. Yes, the best part. <laughs> Whoa! Just a room full of cheese. This is crazy. Yes, you see. Oh, whoa. Each to, one? Yes, each one to guarantee the quality to the for the consumers. Okay? And for the production too, but for the consumers too. It's very important to control each chip to guarantee the quality. So first they look around the cheese if the curd is perfect. This is important to remember the curd protect the cheese inside, okay? Then must uh, control inside uh, to understand if inside there are defects. But as I said before, you, we cannot uh, cut all the cheese, yes. and so they use this one, this hammer. Mm -hmm. So they bring the cheese in a vertical way, and then begin to knock around and on the flat part. They hear it. Yeah. So, if the sound is the same in each part of the wheel, it means that inside there are no defects because the cheese is compact. Yes. If there are different sounds, it means that inside there are defects. <laughs> It's all cut up now. Cool. Yeah, what kind of question is that? Do I want to taste the cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So these are the, the two types? is in the vacuum, is in the packaging, it's mm -hmm. very difficult to recognize, to know exactly the age of the cheese. Mm -hmm. So before it was volunteer, but uh, two years ago, yeah, we introduced uh, this uh, label, the label, yeah. necessary to 
And that was the tour of Parmigiano Reggiano. I just spent like $50 on cheese. And yeah, 